Hello guys, my name is Ali Bekir, I'm a travel cinematographer based in Turkey. Today we're gonna be exploring Aladalar National Park. So, without further ado, let's start this beautiful video and enjoy this amazing landscape. Let's go! We're gonna start this journey by camping in Emli Valley, which is located over there. So let's go and set up our camp. Oh, good morning from a beautiful day. We had our breakfast and now we're gonna have our coffees and head to a location where we can learn rock climbing. So now we are in our rock climbing spot. This place is located in Kazıklali Canyon, which is just right next to Emli Valley, where we stayed yesterday. We're gonna be trying to climb to this rock. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> First time trying. Feels good so far. As long as I don't look down, it feels good and safe. Ah, it's like that. In the name of name. I'm done, I'm safe. We are now getting our equipment and heading to a different location. It's gonna be a bit more challenging. Just finished climbing the second one. It was really nice. I love this activity here. If you come here, definitely add this place to your list and uh, do rock climbing here. And find Hikmet, our guide and instructor here. He will help you out. I will put his uh, information down in the description so you can reach out to him. Now we're gonna go from here to the next location. Ne güzel emanınız var ne ya. Güzel. Buyurun yiyin, yiyin. Eyvallah, çok sağ olun. Geçiyorduk da gördük bir selam verelim. Yarın ya, vereyim, yiyin gel. Ya, bir, bir tane birer tane alalım. Bir tane alalım, üç tane. Şişe sene vereyim. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> sağ olasın. On our way, we are passing through this beautiful village called Çukurba and the village is filled with apple fields. This is so good. There's a reason why this place is famous for its apples. All right, so now we came to a restaurant just next to the village over there. Uh, we're gonna be watching the sunset from here and we're gonna wait and see if the mountain turns to crimson because the name Aldalar translated as Crimson Mountains. We're gonna wait and see if the mountain will turn to crimson during the sunset. The more the sun sets, the more red it gets. All right, time to get some drone shots.
it really turns to a crimson color uh, during the sunset. I mean, the whole mountain was covered in crimson. The scenery was just amazing, right? I loved it. And uh, the restaurant here is also really, really nice. Afiyet olsun. Sağ ol, sağ ol. Which means bon appetit. Eyvallah. All right, I want to give some information about the place that we are camping here. Uh, it's in Emily Valley, and we're staying here. And there's a bathroom and shower place right over there. It's I think really really nice to have that in a camping place and there are water sources here around you can also make use of them and uh, make sure that you have a good stay here in Emily Valley I've seen a lot of people coming in and going out there's even a van there and I've seen a lot of people from uh, other countries coming here doing trekking, hiking, rock climbing which is really nice, I think. Uh, now we are going to the depths of the Emily Valley and we're gonna be doing a, some sort of trekking over there and uh, enjoy this place a little bit more before we go to Bolkar region. So let's go on with our journey and explore Aladalar together. get to walk among the trees with a beautiful scenery of the mountains. The sound of the birds here is just too beautiful. Hi there. How's it going? Here it is. It's very good. Look at that. All right, we made it here. This is the stop of our hiking. We're not gonna go deep into the mountain. We're gonna wait here, chill a little bit and enjoy this beautiful scenery and then head to Bolkar. So while I rest, I'm just gonna let you watch the drone videos of this amazing place. Enjoy. To the other side? Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. You are from? France. France, yeah. okay. Go back See ya. After the storm, I'm not a match simply waiting to burn. All I am is a friend. All right, we did our hiking and now we came to the restaurant that we were yesterday. We're gonna be charging our stuff here and then we're gonna head to Bolkar Mountains. And we're gonna be staying in a plateau called Maidan Plateau. And I think it's gonna be an amazing scenery for us too. So stay tuned and I'll see you on the road. Okay, we are on our way, but when we get there, I think it's gonna be way 
way too dark. We made it to Maidan Plateau, put on our campfire and now we are setting up our tents. Uh, we're gonna spend the night here and tomorrow we're gonna go on a hike to Karagöl, which is also an amazing lake in this region. So stay tuned for tomorrow and I'll see you early in the morning. And early in the morning when we got up, we saw so many ground squirrels here. They were so sweet. We tried to capture this video of them. And uh, it was a, such a you know sweet coincidence. And now we are getting ready to go to Bokar Mountains. Uh, we're gonna be seeing a lake there. And that lake has a certain type of animal uh, which doesn't live anywhere else. It's called non-crocking frog. It doesn't croak, it's always silent and it lives here. We're gonna be seeing that frog if you are lucky at the end of our hiking. So we took a short trip till here. From here on, we're gonna start our hiking. We're gonna go to the lake over there. It's called Karagöl. And there's also another lake just behind this mountain. It's called Chinili. We're gonna also hike up there too. The mountain range you see in front of me is called Bolkar Mountains. So let's start our hiking and enjoy this beautiful atmosphere. Let's go. The altitude now is about 2,700 meters. <laughs> Oopsie. So now we are trying to find the silent frog, but as it is silent we cannot spot it <laughs> it could be anywhere here oh got it i thought they would be you know a bit difficult to find but they are all around the lake and they really don't you know do any kind of crocking so now we are going around the lake and heading up to the second lake called chinili lake look at this view it's just insane look at it and they say the chinilla lake looks like a heart from above we're gonna see if it's true i'm gonna fly my drone to see if it really has a heart shape the pad doesn't look so difficult but it's a bit steep it's a really good practice for me because in about a month i'll be traveling to Kathmandu to walk the path of Everest. I'll be walking till the base camp. It took us like 20 minutes to get here, but the view of this place is amazing. It's like surrounded and covered with mountains. Look at this place. <laughs> Now we are heading out of Chinil Lake and going back to our car. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated that it, it doesn't have the heart shape, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, I loved it still. The thing that I loved here the most was the silence, you know? It's so silent. It's so silent that even the frogs don't croak. It's, it's an amazing place. Like, I haven't uh, been to a place this silent before in my life. So it was really nice to experience this feeling here. I'm glad I came.
So we finished our hiking and now we are heading to the city center. Let's go. So we now arrived in the city center. This is the place we're gonna stay for the night. We need a good shower after three days. And so I'll see you early in the morning. Good morning from Nide. Today we are still exploring Cappadocia region. And the first place on our list is Gumusha Monastery. Cappadocia region extends to a lot of cities and a lot of places. And this is just one of them. And we are far away from Nevshire or Urgup the most famous Cappadocia region. And by the way, there's an app called Discover Cappadocia, which we made use of while we are doing our trip here. You can also make use of that app while you're exploring Cappadocia region. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description so you can download it from there. And the place that we're gonna be visiting now is a monastery that was built between 8th and 12th century. It's a work of Byzantine art. So now we're gonna go inside and check out this beautiful monastery. Let's go. Frasks and the paintings on the wall are very well kept. You can see the details and the vividness of the frasks. Look at them. You can take short trips to the underground. I mean, it's too claustrophobic if you are not good with, you know, narrow places. Wouldn't highly recommend it. But the place is just amazing, you know. We finished visiting this beautiful monastery called Gümüşler Monastery and now we are heading on to our next location which is called Yeşilburç Church Mosque. So let's go and check it out. Let's go! After we saw Gümüşler Monastery we came to this place to visit it. It's called Yeşilburç Church Mosque because it was originally made as a church but later turned into a mosque. That's why it's called Church Mosque. Just behind this church mosque, there's a beautiful valley. It's called Yeşilburç Valley. And right now I'm actually standing on top of a glass terrace. As you can see, it looks a bit terrifying, but you get used to it after a while. So now we're gonna go inside and check out the interior of this beautiful church mosque. Let's go inside. They try to, you know, keep the original version of this church and even the frescoes stay the same. Later it was turned into a mosque. That's why now people are able to pray in this part of this church mosque. Having seen those two beautiful structures, we came to a local restaurant here to try out the local dishes of Nide. The first thing that we're gonna try is a soup called Shafak soup. It has potatoes, uh, carrots and some onions inside and it tastes so good. Here we have our main dish. It's called Borsu Ermesi and this is for four people. There are so many you know, local dishes around from this region, but this one, Borsu Ermesi, is the most famous one in Nide. That's why we are tasting it. It's really nice. Really, really tasty. All right, we have seen all of our national park. We've been to Volkar Mountains. We saw the lakes there and we tasted the local dishes of Nide. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please like and comment and subscribe to my channel for more contents from Turkey. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. See you.